Hi, I would like to take a couple minutes today to talk to you about a special kind of light. It's called a clamp light. I use clamp lights uh, a lot more than I thought I would. I remember the first time I encountered it, the DP um, had said, you know, you need to be sure to pick up a couple of these. And so we went and got, uh, I think, three of them. And we ended up using them, I would say, anywhere between 40 and 60% of the, sh the setups that we did on about a feature length production. They uh, are not very expensive, $10, $15. Basically, it's a low intensity, moderately directional light for not a lot of money. Um, you know, you'll, you're going to sit down and you're going to spend a bunch of money on soft boxes or uh, Fresnel spots. And sometimes you just need a little bit extra. And instead of lugging around a, another light, what we did is just took three of these, chucked them in a cardboard box, got a bunch of extra lamps and use the heck out of them. Um, like I said, I ended up using them a lot more than I thought I would. And so it's worth an investment, it's worth setting up and using on a production. And if you don't use it, you're only out a little bit. But I found that you'll use a lot more than you think you would. To give you a sense of what kind of light this clamp light produces, I've replaced my usual fill light with the clamp light, the key light and the backlight are still in exactly the same position. I haven't done anything with them. The camera is in the exact same spot. And what I've done is I put the clamp light, it's just out of my arm's reach, maybe four feet away from me. You'll see that the light coming from it is fairly soft. It creates a nice contrast with the intensity of my key light. It also has really decreased the amount of heat that's in this space. I'm not shooting in a very large environment, and just that one light ends up making a lot of difference. It's easy to use. I mean, I've used this light sometimes as a sort of pop light to just provide a little bit of supplement from a backlight, give a little bit of more outline to the hair. Um, it's a light that we've used in all sorts of different circumstances. Worst case, you spend a little money, you buy a few of these, you take them out for a spin. You don't like them, bring them back or hang on to them. They're not at all heavy. They don't take up hardly any space. And in my experience, it's always better to have more stuff than you don't use than being on set and wishing that you did. So in my opinion, it's probably worth a little bit of investment to carry around with you. Hope the video is helpful and thanks a lot for watching.